Hello, thank you for joining Real Tea by Dr. T. Today I'm going to be coming from the book of Matthew, chapter 13. I'm going to only read verses 1 through 19 today for part 1 of the series, What Jesus Said. Within this series, this is episode 13. And this is what it's about. It's starting to starting off about the parable of the farmer scattering seed. And I'm also reading from the New Living Translation version. It says, Later that same day, Jesus left the house and sat beside the lake. A large crowd soon gathered around him. So he got into a boat. Then he sat there and taught as the people stood on the shore. He told many stories in the form of parables, such as this one. Listen, a farmer went out to plant some seeds. As he scattered them across the field, some seeds fell on a footpath and the birds came and ate them. Other seeds fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seeds sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plants soon wilted under the hot sun and since they didn't have root, deep roots, they died. Other seeds fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still other seeds fell on fertile soil and they produced a crop that was 30, 60, and even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. His disciples came and asked him, Why do you use parables when you talk to the people? He replied, You are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but others are not. To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given, and they will have an abundance of knowledge. But for those who are not listening, even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. That is why I use these parables. For they look but they don't really see. They hear, but they don't really listen or understand. This fulfills the prophecy of Isaiah that says, when you hear what I say, you will not understand. When you see what I do, you will not comprehend. For the hearts of these people are hardened and their ears cannot hear, and they have closed their eyes so their eyes cannot see and their ears cannot hear, and their hearts cannot understand, and they cannot turn to me, and let me heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Tell you the truth. Well, I tell you the truth. Many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but they didn't see it. They long to hear what you hear, but they didn't hear it. Now listen to the explanation of the parable about the farmer planting seeds. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message about the kingdom and don't understand it. Then the evil one comes and snatches away the seed that was planted in their hearts. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have, a, as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents those who hear God's word. But all too quickly, the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the lure of wealth, so no fruit is produced. The seed that fell on good soil represents those who truly hear and understand God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even 100 times as much as had been planted. Well, I'm going to stop right here. I think this is, gives you enough to digest and I hope that you will seek the Lord and ask the Lord for clarity from this message. Please do not take me reading it to you as a basis for your own personal seeking the Lord to clarify for you what this means. Because although you hear it, the question is, do you understand it? And only Holy Spirit can give you understanding of his word. Well, until the next time you sit with me, God bless you. Enjoy your tea.